Hi, I'm Nicole and in this video I'm going to guide you through a really simple follow at home facial routine. I'm going to be using the new and improved regenerating range but you can use any products that are really suited to you. To prepare for the facial you just need to get yourself a cleanser, a toner, a serum, a moisturiser, a facial massage oil and a mask. We'll also be doing a really relaxing facial massage that you can follow along at home. First of all, take the cleanser in your hands. I'm going to be using the Espar Nourishing Cleansing Balm as this is the best for anyone that has concerns with the first signs of aging and dryness and it works perfectly alongside the Tri-Active Regenerating Range. Warm the product into your hands and the Nourishing Cleansing Balm melts as you warm it. Then place all over the face, the neck and you can even take it onto the décolleté. Make sure you work the cleanser all over the face, making sure to remove makeup, dirt, SPF and build up throughout the day. With the Nourishing Cleansing Balm, once you've applied all over the face, you, you need to add a little bit of water. It turns into this milky consistency which then helps to cleanse deeper onto the skin. It's also great at removing heavier makeup and will help to remove dirt and debris that has built up onto the skin throughout the day. You can use a face cloth and warm water to remove the cleanser. To tone the skin you can either use a spritzer to spritz over the face or you can apply your toner onto cotton pads and work them all over the face, the neck and onto the décolleté. We are now moving on to the massage. For this I'm using the regenerating treatment oil but you can choose any facial oil. We're going to use 3-4 to four drops. First, warm the product into your hands and as the regenerating oil has essential oils in it, it's nice to take a deep breath to inhale the aroma first. Now we can apply the oil onto the face and neck to begin. You may want to do the massage in front of a mirror. Once we have applied, we can then begin the massage by beginning onto the neck. We're going, we're going to begin with nice lifting movements. Use your whole hand to sweep up the neck. Moving on to the jawline, using your thumb and index finger or knuckles, we are draining across the jawline out to the ear. We're going to repeat this movement several times on each side using medium to firm pressure. This is really going to help to release any tension in the jaw, which is great for anyone that clenches their jaw or grinds their teeth. The next movement, begin with your fingertips onto the chin, slide your fingertips outwards across the jawbone, splitting your fingers into a V shape as you come to the ear. You can see I have one finger in front of the ear and one behind. Step back onto the chin and repeat this movement several times. We're now moving into a lifting movement on the cheeks. Use your full hand to slowly lift the cheek. Once you've done one side, you can then repeat onto the other. Use your knuckles now to slowly knuckle over the cheeks and jawbone to increase circulation and release tension. You might notice your skin turning slightly pink. This is completely normal as the circulation increases. Step your thumbs to the side of the nose. We're going to drain under the cheekbone all the way up to the temple. This is a great lifting movement. Don't worry if you're pulling funny faces as no one can see you, but this is a great movement to tone muscles in the cheeks. Now step your thumbs to the side of the nose, we're going to do a press and slide with our thumbs under the eye out to the temple. Then repeat this movement with a drain. This movement is great to release sinus congestion. Be careful with the pressure under the eyes, just keep it a little bit lighter here. In between the brows we're going to do a pinching movement with thumbs and index finger. Pinch all the way across the brows out to the temple. This is going to release pressure around the eyes and it helps with lifting the brows. Now we're going to use two fingers on each hand to sweep in between the brows, really lifting, working on any lines where some of us tend to get frown lines. Continue up onto the forehead with a full flat hand. Lift all the way across. The next movement I'm doing is sort of like a pinch and slide. This is helping to boost collagen and elastin in the skin. Repeat this movement a couple of times. We will then finish by sweeping out across the forehead a few times. 
and finish with a nice medium pressure onto the temples to release tension. I'm going to be applying the Regenerating Resurface and Brighten Mask. This is an exfoliating gel mask that can be used twice a week. Choose a mask that is suited to you and apply a grape sized amount of the product into your fingertips and we will apply all over the face and the neck. Once we have applied the mask, we will leave the product on for around 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to be applying the Regenerating Bioretinol Sleeping Serum, but choose yourself a serum and we need to apply two to three drops. Place the product into your hands and then we're going to sweep the product all over the face, the neck, and the decollete. The Bioretinol Sleeping Serum is perfect to apply before you go to bed and you can just leave the product on your skin overnight. The last product in our routine is a moisturiser. I'm going to be using the Regenerating Moisture Complex. This is a rich age-defying moisturiser that's particularly good for anyone concerned with the signs of ageing and has a drier skin type. Apply a small amount all over the face, the neck and the decollete to finish off our skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you have enjoyed following along in the facial at home and your skin is hopefully feeling much softer, more hydrated and more radiant in appearance. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.